guys and welcome back to my channel. So this morning I have a two part Sam's Club haul. Here is the first part that I'm gonna show you and I'm waiting on Instacart to bring me the second part. So I'll show you that whenever it comes in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dive into it. Um, I have a big pack of paper towels, some toilet paper, um, some Kool-Aid jammers, some applesauce that's 45 cups. Don't mind the kids playing in the background. Um, we go through Nesquik um, quite a bit with ice cream and chocolate milk. So I got two things of those. These are my absolute favorite little fig bars. They're the blueberry and raspberry kind. They are so good. Um, I got two boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios. My husband absolutely loves these. In the back, I have some buttermilk pancake mix. Um, I like to use those for making uh, waffles for the freezer and also just, you know, our typical um, pancake dinners and breakfasts. We got a pack of trash bags. I have um, a box of Pop-Tarts for my husband. That is four um, boxes of the gallon freezer bags. I have a container of diced peaches. Levi absolutely loves these, so he'll probably be the one that eats these the most. Um, try to flip this around so you can really see it. Um, this is, I love the Chobani flips. And this has the four s'mores, the four strawberry cheesecake, the four cookies and cream, and the key lime crumble. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of the key lime, but I wanted to give it a try just because I like all the other ones that's in here. And it's just a lot cheaper to buy it this way than it is to buy them individual. Um, so right back there, I have the Pam, two of the cans of Pam, two of the boxes, or the containers of Mrs. Butterworth's pancake syrup. Um, I've got four of the quart size freezer bags. I like to use these for freezer meals, and um, I pretty much use them for any time I have to use a Ziploc bag, just because I feel like they hold up better. Okay, so I have the taco seasoning. Sorry about that, I had to get after the kids. Um, I use these for tacos, obviously, and I also like to sprinkle these over potatoes for whenever we're making Southwest breakfast bowls. I have a container of fabric softener. I have the 130 count of the power packs. I really like these. They work very, very well for getting our clothes clean, and it's really important because I'll replay softball, and like when we go to the field, we will play in the dirt. And so that actually helps get out the dirt really, really easily. We have a container of the finish, two jars of peanut butter, a 48 count of the string cheese, a big container of the Mexican vanilla blend. I tend to get the off brand or the um, imitation vanilla just because we use it so much. It's just so expensive to use the actual pure vanilla. Um, I got the four pack of the cinnamon rolls. We like to have these on Sunday mornings before church with like eggs and stuff. And so that's like our little Sunday morning tradition. I got um, a two count of the apple juice, a thing of vanilla ice cream, um, a container of the Kraft Singles cheese, three of the um, Tennessee Pride mild sausage. I got six. Um, pounds of the ground beef, 93% lean, um, which I really like this because you don't have to drain it. And this is a lot cheaper than even the 80-20 at Kroger. A um, small six pack of pork chops. I thought I was ordering a lot more whenever I ordered on the Sam's Club app. So that's why I'm having to do a part two to this haul because this will only last us a meal, like with no leftovers or anything. I got a three pack of bacon. This is already gone. I mean, we go through bacon so fast. I really, really, really like this donut shop coffee and it comes in a hundred counts. And so this is a really good price. I think it's like $24 for a hundred of them. And so that's, that's a really good deal. Um, I really like this Starbucks creamer, the caramel macchiato. Um, I tend to get the International House or whatever it's called if I'm having to shop at Kroger, but this is a really good size container for the price at Sam's, so that's the only time I really splurge for Starbucks. 
I got um, a big five pound bag of chicken nuggets between my husband and the kids. This will be gone pretty quickly. And then I've got four of the 40 packs of water. We go through water pretty quickly. Um, the tap water here is really gross, so we just stick with bottled water. Even when we try to use the, uh, the Brita filters, it still tastes really gross. Um, so yeah, we have those. And then stay tuned, I will be showing you the part two, whatever my Instacart order gets here. Okay, so here is part two of my Sam's Club haul. This is what I got from Instacart. Now this chicken, I'm actually going to be returning because I wanted just the normal kind. She got me the kind that is $4 a pound. I'm not spending $4 a pound on chicken. I just called um, Sam's and they said I can return these no problem. So I'm gonna put these in the fridge and take them back later. So I do have a big pack of pork chops. Um, a, which I wanted smaller packs and I got the bone boneless. I wanted the boneless smaller packs and I got the bone in large pack. So, I mean, they'll be put to use, but I think I've learned my lesson with using Instacart for Sam's today. Normally I don't have an issue, but today's kind of a bust. Um, I got a bag of Doritos, two bags of Cheetos, a two count of orange juice, a three pound pack of bananas, and three of the three pound packs of ground beef. Um, this is the same as the 93.7 I had earlier. And the reason why I'm returning these is because of that chicken breast alone. My order was $40 more than what it was supposed to be on, San, um, on the Instacart app. I was supposed to pay $81 after the tip and everything. And not including the tip, it was $127. So those are getting returned. But this is obviously not everything that we're going to be feeding our family. I do have a big Kroger haul I'll be showing you in a couple of days. But this is it for the rest of my Sam's Club haul. I hope you all have a blessed day. And remember that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Bye, guys.